Houston County after the incumbent District 3 commissioner was unable to secure enough votes needed for an outright victory. The runoff election between Commissioner Ricky Herring and challenger Richard Talley has officially kicked off tonight. WDHN's Alex Valdez is live now in the studio speaking with both candidates. Alex, what are they saying about what's next for this upcoming runoff? Amanda, both candidates tell me they are looking forward to getting out there once again, continue sharing their message and goals with voters in the county, hoping to gain their votes once again in the upcoming runoff election. Commissioner Ricky Herring was first elected to the Houston County Commission in 2018, and since then he believes he has been working for the people and the county, bringing growth throughout District 3. It's growing out here and people are building houses, subdivisions are coming up. They're talking about building another 600-something home subdivision out here just below Rehoboth in the area. So, you know, there's a lot happening and I'd love to see it continue to move forward in, in, uh, in a positive direction. Herring, who got 48% of the Republican vote, says if he is reelected, he will prioritize infrastructure improvements in order to bring more jobs to the county. A project he believes will help with those jobs, the newly approved $5 million water system that will go down to the county's 240-acre industrial park on the state line, opening up endless opportunity for the southern part of the county. I've been in my first term of office, and there's been a lot accomplished during that time, a lot of infrastructure completed, a lot of things done that haven't been done. And when I say years, we're talking about 10, 15, 20 years. Things that haven't been completed, a lot is happening. Herring's opponent in the runoff, Richard Talley, a Houston County native and former board member for the National Peanut Festival, he got 22% of the vote. Talley believes now that there's a possibility of there being two county employees on the commission, Herring and James Ivey, who just won the District 4 primary, are both deputies for the Houston County Sheriff's Office which is why he says it's vital the county has more representation. The easiest thing to do is not do anything. And many people say, why would you want to do this? It's just simply a desire that I've had for a long time. And yes, I understand going up against an incumbent is an uphill battle. However, after the results from Tuesday's primary kept him in the race, he believes Houston County voters want a change, a change he says he has been ready to bring the county. 52% of the voters yesterday did not want the incumbent to be in office. It's that simple. I mean, I could look at it from the standpoint that there was a, almost 50% that did, but 52% voted and said, we don't want you in there. Houston County District 3 voters will have the last say in the runoff election, which will be held on June 21st. And since voter turnout in runoff elections are even lower than primaries, they both encourage voters to get out to the polls on that day. Amanda, 